You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall. Hi friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today to start the first in a video series I will be doing in converting a cross stitch to a diamond painting. I did want to say that I got my information on converting a cross stitch from several different sources. I watched a wonderful video from um, Kids at 147, I believe that's her YouTube channel. I also looked on the Heaven and Earth Designs Facebook group, but I just wanted to let you know that I got my information from several sources and I will link those below. Now, I am going to be converting a Mandy Manzano princess panel or stained glass panel. And there is one way that you can do it that is licensed. You can go to the um, shop, which is Creatively Stitching on Etsy. Now I have this shop pulled up. This is of course on my phone um, in my app. I'm sorry, I tried to do this video on my computer and ran into so many problems. So we're, we're on my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope this works. Anyway, this is the store. It has creatively crafting in the, the side picture, but the name of the store is creatively stitching. And if you can see, there's some different sections. Um, there's the Mandy Manzano art and there is the stained glass series. So if we look kind of down, you can see there's some different art stuff. If we look at the Mandy Manzano art, you can see quite a few pieces that um, are some have been licensed by DAC and they are really rare. Um, others are more common. One thing that you need to know when you're looking at these pieces right here, if you want to convert them, is that they are going to end up a lot larger than the DAC versions. Um, just because um, these, yeah, these are just going to be really large. I've, I've looked at the stitch count and they'll be like 185 centimeters by 100 centimeters. If at all that makes sense to you, that is giant. So let's go back and look at the princess panels um, or the stained glass panels. And as you can see, there is a lot of them that have been released and some that haven't, as you see Cinderella and Alice. Um, there's Jesse, there's Darth Vader, there's <laughs> the lost princess Rapunzel that I'm forever looking for. Um, and I'd still just love to find the DAC version. But as you can see, there's all these lovely panels right here um, that you can purchase to, I guess, cross stitch or you can convert them to cross stitch. So let's go back up and look at the one that I will be converting um, that I'm showing you guys. So. So this is the one that I'm going to be converting. This is the Alice panel. And um, first off, just to let you guys know, when making these cross stitches, they are actually going to be quite smaller than the DAC versions if you're expecting to have um, something the same size. How you are going to calculate the size you need is we are gonna go down and look at the design size or stitch count. You can see it says it's 144 stitches by 432 stitches. What you need to do to calculate the actual length um, in centimeters is times the stitch count by 0.25. And you're going to do that to each number. So here at the calculator, we're going to put in the first number, which is if we look at it, 144. So we're, we'll put that in and then we are going to times it by 0.25 and the number we get is 36. So we know that our panel is going to be 36 centimeters wide. That is the number that you should write down to make sure that you want it 36 wide. Okay, you wanna make sure that you do 36 centimeters. Um, you can translate it yourself to inches, but you will want to do centimeters when ordering a canvas. Okay, now let's move over to the next one. So we'll put the first number in, which is 432, times that by 0.25, and the number that we get is 108. So you're gonna want 
108 centimeters. So your full panel needs to be 36 centimeters wide and 108 centimeters long. Now it was um, mentioned in a video that I watched that you want to order slightly larger than your actual measurements just because you never know with the conversion. Um, I found this to be true. You'll see in my unboxing next week that the canvas I ordered at exactly 36 centimeters by 108 centimeters was actually a little, a few lines short and a few lines to, um, not wide enough. And so if I had just um, added an extra centimeter um, width and maybe a couple centimeters long, I would have just, it would have covered my bases. So I wanted to let you know right up front that when ordering a canvas, you want to probably order it a little bit larger um, and make sure, you know, you can always deal with it if it's a little bit bigger than you needed. Um, it's better than not having enough space for your <laughs> your pattern. Okay, so establishing that we'll want to get over to where you can order a canvas and there's several different places. The place that I chose to go to was Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, and I'm going to link below a video by Lizette Crafts and Tells and she goes through all the different places you can get canvases and what to expect. Um, but for me personally, I'm gonna show you how I have gone through and ordered my canvas. So you're gonna come up here to the special services. And I apologize as I try to get this situated on my phone, um, just because it is so small on phone. I'll warn you, you probably wanna go on a desktop when you go to Heaven and Earth Designs. You're gonna click on the blank canvas request right here. And if you can see down in the description, it basically tells you you're going to add this to your cart. In your description, um, there's gonna be a place and you can specify the amount that you want. Um, so in reordering this canvas for one of the princess panels, I ordered it at 37.5 centimeters by 111 centimeters. Um, and so you're gonna go through and buy this. Um, they're gonna then send you an email when they have it all ready for you to check out. So basically, um, it will give you the price of the canvas um, because you're gonna have to actually pay more depending on the size of the canvas and your shipping. So for me though, at this canvas size, the price was $31. So it was an additional $21 um, and you just pay for that listing um, and then they ship out the canvas, um, I believe they say within 48 hours. However, them getting you um, the listing for the canvas can take some time. Okay, now let's go back and we're going to now find out how we order drills. Um, as I said, I did list the um, video with Lizette telling you about other canvas places. So when looking at the drills, um, after you've purchased this pattern, you are going to get um, a, a sheet or I guess all the information with the pattern, you will also get all of the colors that you would need to stitch this particular painting. So we're just going to flip through these images because you can actually get a preview um, on the actual site. I apologize for all of the moving around, but I'm just trying to kind of give you an indication of the DMC numbers that you can find and also that it shows you the skein amount that you will need. And that is in regards to thread. And obviously you're not going to be using thread and there's going to be a conversion rate between thread and drills. Now, um, if you send this to a place that regularly converts, um, gets drills for converted cross stitches, you will not need to translate this yourself. Um, I found that most places like um, Cooper Diamonds um, or Jaded Gem Diamonds, where I went, um, you just have to give them this sheet and they will actually do the conversion for you and in your quote. Now, I do have to tell you, if you see something with these drills is that most numbers are above 3000. And so um, a lot of your common diamond paintings um, from the major companies tend to use a lot of diamonds under um, a thousand. And so you might not be able to find so many of your spares for um, these princess kits that are very heavy in the high 3000 DMC numbers. I'm just letting you know um, if you were hoping to use leftover drills. 
Um, but let's go to Jaded Gems site right now. Okay, so the nice thing about the Jaded Gem Shop is that it is owned and operated by a fellow diamond painter. She's also a YouTuber, Jade the Tailor or JD Kins. You might have seen her channel. I will link below. But she went on the search for drills that were resin. Unfortunately, she kept finding out that these companies that provide drills say they're resin when they're actually acrylic. So Jade went through um, the effort to find a supplier that would send her resin drills. Right at the very top of her website, she has this need a drill quote invoice for a heaven and earth designs or creatively stitching canvas. Click contact to email. So you just need to e email her jade the tailor at yahoo.com and give her a, um, a, a copy of that list of colors and the amount that you're going to need. Um, that is what I did. I um, sent that over to her. Um, and if you actually look on the website and you come down to the custom invoices, um, she shows right here what that kind of looks like. And she says she can make a sticker sheet. Um, one of the th services that she does offer also is that she can um, kit up your diamonds for you and send them kitted up, which I did pay for. <laughs> Um, but we can see right here, this is my project. So, um, she put together a quote for me, which if you can see, it was, um, $75 for the drills and then, um, another $40 for the kidding up process, which ended up being $115 total. Um, that was something that I thought it was worth paying for, for resin and to be kitted up. Okay, and I do want to just tell you that this is not a cheap project. There's definitely ways that you can go about this um, to get like a budget canvas um, or drills, but this is still going to be quite expensive to convert a cross stitch. However, if this is a pattern that you are really looking forward to, um, it's definitely a project that you can undertake and um, enjoy. We will be looking next week at when I get my drills and canvas and um, hopefully start on it soon. So I hope this has been helpful. I will again provide links in the description and if you have any questions just um, ask me in the comments below but um, I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye! You're like a circle that floats around me keeping me safe and sound and when I fall Tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet